Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are talking about moisturizing and sealing. Is this important? Is this something that you should be doing, especially if you have relaxed or text lax hair? I'm also going to tell you guys what I do and give you guys some recommendations if you are wanting to get into moisturizing and sealing your hair. If you haven't already, and if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I share videos on beauty and hair related content, and I do not want you to miss these gems I'm dropping. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know already how I feel about this topic. You already know what I think about moisturizing and sealing, but there are a lot of new people here on the channel, as well as my views have changed. Have they changed? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to link the prior video that I did to moisturizing and sealing um, below this one so that you guys can watch that video and let me know um, if my views have changed. So, okay, here is pretty much my view and my take on moisturizing and sealing for people that wear their hair straight. If you have a silk press or you just have straight hair, I do not think that moisturizing and sealing is required. The reason why I do not think moisturizing and sealing is required if you are wearing your hair straight is because, and I'm only basing this off of my personal experience only, I cannot base it off of anyone else but my own. So if you have a different experience, feel free to share your experience with me, but this is my experience with my hair, okay? So with my experience, I find that my hair starts to get oily, <sighs> by like the third or fourth day and by the sixth seventh day where it's been a full week my hair is oily to the point where it's sticking together like i need to wash it, it it's it's like that for me okay the reason why it's like that is because my hair is straight number one and because we have oil glands all of us have oil glands on our scalp that secrete oil the main job for these oil glands and the oil that these glands secrete is to moisturize our hair and our scalp if you have straight hair those oils have nowhere to travel but down, okay? Especially if you comb your hair on a daily basis or you wrap your hair, you're going to find that your hair is a lot more, um, gets a lot more oilier than people that don't comb their hair every day or don't wrap their hair every day. And that is because you're you're taking that oil from your scalp and distributing it all around your hair. So because I fall into this category, I wear my hair straight, I comb my hair and I wrap my hair every single day. I do not feel like moisturizing and sealing is something that I personally need to do because like I said, by the end of the week, the oils have done their job. My hair is moisturized, it's oily, it looked like I done slicked some 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 grease down my hair for me, okay? Now, if you are someone who, you know, either you do not have relaxed hair, you have curly or coily hair, or you have relaxed hair, but you don't wear it straight, you do more so of like a blow dry type of thing, or you don't comb it every day, you probably will need to moisturize and seal your hair every day because your hair, the oils are not being, they're not getting through the length of your hair. You're not helping the oils because you're not combing or, you know, wrapping your hair. That helps the oils get through your hair. You're not doing that as well as the natural pattern that your hair is set up makes it diff more difficult for the oil to kind of travel through. When it's straight, it just 
straight down but when it is uh wavy or curly it has more so of a difficult time flowing through that strand and making it to the bottom so in that instance okay yes i would say moisturizing and sealing may be something that you may need to do a lot of relaxed hair girls do moisturize and seal because they don't comb their hair every day they do put their hair in a bun or they do pin curl their hair or they do like you know twist outs or like um dry sets like roller sets or something like that i could see how your hair would be a little bit more drier and why you would need to moisturize and seal in that aspect um but for those of us that wear silk presses i just don't think it's necessary and it's probably going to mess up your style um if you actually do moisturize and seal your hair while it's silky straight i do think it's very important to include moisture into my hair care routine and how I do this is I deep condition or do some sort of hair mask every single week. I also use and do hot oil treatments on my hair every single week. I apply serum to my hair. Those are sort of like my um, moisturize and seal of how I moisturize and seal my hair and sometimes what i like to do i don't do this every week but sometimes the night before wash day i will oil my hair and oil my scalp and use some sort of like a conditioner or cream on the day right before wash day that just helps me maintain the moisture that infuses my hair with moisture after i've cleansed my hair i'm putting that moisture right back with the conditioners and the products that i'm using i also make sure to use shampoos that don't strip my hair and make it feel really dry and just harsh shampoos that still moisturize my hair but still get my hair really clean is what i like to use if you decide to moisturize and seal how i would recommend doing it especially if you're relaxed text lags or wear your hair straight like i do what i would recommend is using something that is lightweight and starting off at the ends first the ends are the oldest part of our hair and the part that is more likely going to need the moisture anyways out of any other part of your hair i i wouldn't say that you have to or i, I I wouldn't think that you would have to take moisturizer all down the length of your hair unless your hair is really long. I would just start off on the ends and see if that helps you with your length, reten length retention. See if that helps the overall feel of your hair and also see if that helps with your hair shedding. And maybe you can add a light oil. I would say either do a light moisturizer and follow it with a light oil or do either or, like a light oil or a light moisturizer and just do that and see how that works out for you. I personally do not do that because I don't want to and I don't feel the need to. But for those of you that are interested in moisturizing and sealing and want to know how to do it or find a way that is best suitable for your hair, if you're relaxed, text lax, or wear it straight, I think that that is a good way to get into it because you're not putting too much product on your hair, but you're also like, you know, adding the little bit of moisture that your hair needs to prevent or minimize the amount of breakage that you're going to have from the ends of your hair. Those are my thoughts on moisturizing and sealing. Let me know what you think. Am I completely crazy? And does this theory just not work at all? Or are you like me and you don't really moisturize and seal throughout the week either because you really just don't see the need? Let me know what you ladies think. I'm very curious and very interested to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in the next video.